Hey, 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 you all saw that banner out there? We got more of those things to hang now. Ooh. Let's go to work now. Win on three, one, two, three. Win. Congratulations, Detroit Lions. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for everything that you guys done for myself personally and this YouTube channel. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys have been so engaged with us. Not saying that the run is over. It's actually going to be far from over. I just want to say thank you guys so much. And, you know, you guys have a Sunday night matchup against the Los Angeles Rams, which is a very good football team. I just want to say before anyone, any any funny little friends you guys have or any family members that are going to try to take a dig, be happy of the season that you guys have. I want this to sink in for a lot of you guys who more than likely, if you're a Detroit Lions fan, the pain has been immense for a very, 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 very long time. As long as I've been alive, the Detroit Lions have not been a thing whatsoever. You guys have a 12 and five record going into the post season as the number three seed okay in my book i understand you guys want more i understand campbell wants more i understand that jared goff and i i get it in my eyes i can only be genuinely glad that the detroit lions are doing big big things because that means that's that means the league is working that means the nfl is growing that means that i mean there's no curse right i think for the longest time there was like Detroit has this curse and, you know, Barry Sanders, he leaves us at 30. Uh, Calvin Johnson, he leaves us at 30. And then Matthew Stafford goes away. Jared Goff comes in. He has good games, but blah, 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 blah. There's a curse. There's a curse. What curse can there be today? What curse can there be today? In the sense of you guys finally have a coaching staff. You guys finally have a quarterback. You have immense weapons. You have a culture. You have a culture. I couldn't tell you what the culture is. And this is no disrespect. I can't tell you what the culture was when it was Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson. What was the culture? A lot of points, highlight plays, uh, defense that was pretty good, but not what we needed to be at a, at a consistent basis. Maybe that was the culture. Was the culture like a, a tough city that just had an indoor tough football games to where it just made them more tough in life? I just think today the culture is we're tough. We're coming at you pause and we're here and there's nothing you could do about it we're here and you're gonna get used to detroit lions coming to your field and beating you and smacking you because that's what the people in detroit do on a daily basis they don't take crap from anyone and so before we dive into the rams pause again we have to understand that that i know you guys are already probably looking at super bowl maybe most of you are just looking at AFC Championship. I want to look at the season and what you guys have done. I don't want the media to take this away from you because they're going to say things like if, you know, whatever, you know, if something doesn't go right uh, Sunday, they're going to say you guys were a fluke. They're going to say this and that. They're going to try to, you know, label Dan Campbell in a bad light. I just want to reflect right now that the Detroit Lions are 12 and 5 for the first time in my life of knowing football, understanding football, the ins and outs of football. But for the first time, I see a team that was irrelevant, a number three seed with amazing weapons headed to the postseason, 12 and five, winning a division. Let's get to it. You guys had a tough, not a tough game, not a tough win, but an emotional win. Uh, 30 to 20 against the Minnesota Vikings. Miles, why is this emotional? We're going to the postseason. We all know that Sam Laporta is going to be no longer with the team for the rest of the season. And to get things really jumping, and I want to say that Sam Laporta is a fantastic tight end. You're going to hear other people say he's great. He's a great rookie tight end. Sam Laporta is a great tight end. I'm not even missing me with that rookie stuff. You know, this kid looks like he's been in the league for a very, very long time already. And it sucks. Okay, it, it really, really sucks. And it, it hurts me just from a, a perspective of the Rams aren't really going to be getting all of the lines. The Rams aren't going to be getting the full package. And in that regard, it's it really, really stinks. But I would say that in my personal opinion, Sam Laporta helps the team. Sam Laporta makes the team better. I'm not going to say the tight end position and not having Sam Laporta is going to break the team. Or, or really take all the gas off the brakes. The last time I heard, 
you guys still have Ben Johnson as your offensive coordinator and a, and a guy who I really, really, really hold high regard. Also, last time I, I heard, you guys have home field advantage. Okay, so Rams, you know, the LA team, the California team, they have to go to Detroit. They have to see you on Detroit. And, and in that regard, it's it should be a comfortability. You guys should just be comfortable. Of course, you're going to go out there without one of your brothers in arms, but it definitely, definitely should be a comfortability level to where it's like, hey, we're still Detroit. And we don't have Sam, but we still have Amon Ross St. Brown, who gets the Minnesota Vikings, gave us seven receptions, 140 yards, and a touchdown. We still have our franchise quarterback, Jared Goff, who gave us 320 yards and two touchdowns, zero sacks, and an offensive line that has pro bowlers all over the place. You know what? Aiden Hutchinson is a pro bowler, along with Frank Ragnow, center, is a pro bowler. Pene Sewell is a pro bowler. And then you have Jalen Reeves Mabin, who is a special teams guy, but is a pro bowler. And last time I heard, special teams is part of the agenda. Amon Ross St. Brown and Jameer Gibbs were selected as first alternates. First alternates, your skill positions. I wanted to say this right now. It's very, very, very compact with the skill positions in the National Football League, primarily in the NFC. You have a third year guy in Amon Ross St. Brown who is a first alternate. And let's not forget, he was a fourth rounder. And then you have Jameer Gibbs, your first rounder, who is a rookie, and he is a first alternate. Let me tell you this, there are teams out there that don't have alternates. There are teams out there that don't have pro bowlers, okay? And then you have Jared Goff, your quarterback, is a second alternate, and then Jonah Jackson is a third alternate. And then you have David Montgomery, Khalif Raymond, and Alex Anzalone, who I fell in love with. I fell in love with Anzalone, who are alternates. So you guys got dudes, and I don't want that to be swayed in the fact that, yes, you did lose pro bowler Sam Laporta, but you got talent all over the place, genuinely, honestly. And and I don't know why people are really just signing this waiver of Kevin Stefanski is the best head coach of the year. I still believe that your head coach, Dan Campbell, has shown immensely that he has the opportunity to win that award. Let me tell you guys another thing that you guys have up in your belt. You guys have a consistent agenda of showing your aggression. Going forward on fourth down and not blinking, not twitching, not moving, not not being scared to go for it multiple, multiple times on a fourth down or even on a two-point conversion. We know the story. We understand it. And also, I have to tell you guys a little side note. I had asked you guys, what did you want that happened to Brad Allen, the head ref that ruined the game for us? He refed the next Saturday game. Uh, against the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. And of course, you all know why I would know that. I couldn't believe it. So it looks like the NFL is backing up with their guys. Maybe you love the loyalty, but I just hope that Brad Allen stays very, very far away from any Lions games. And I feel like that is a fair, fair deal. Once again, let's go back to it. Yes, Sam Laporta is not going to be present. But understand this, the Los Angeles Rams have to go to Detroit. They have to go to your house. So the fan base, you got to be ready. They're, they're, your team is counting on you. Your, your team needs you in the stands or on the TV to be screaming as loud as possible for their, for their support. It is, this is a big game. This is a this is a historic game. And, and let me just leave you guys with this. So when the Cincinnati Bengals finally made the playoffs with Joe Burrow, my whole notion was just, I just want to get past this first round. That's all I really want to do. Yeah, we ended up going to the Super Bowl and we lost to the team you're about to play. But all I really wanted to do was just win that first round. And I believe you guys have everything and more to do it. I believe that the Rams are going to be looking to play you guys. They have to play you. It's not the other way around. You're the number three seed for a reason. They have to play y'all. Y'all just have to play your game. Dan Campbell, he's going to do what he did. And the reason why... I see it now. The reason why you guys went forward on fourth and down so many damn times, it's for these moments. It's it's clockwork now. It's clockwork now. Y'all are going to be fine. So in these crucial moments, you guys have had very close games. You you guys have had games where you blow people out of the water. Okay? I, I, I'm ready. This is going to be one of the more exciting Sunday Night Football appearance games ever, in my personal opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Let me know where your energy is at. Let me know, are you nervous? Let me know about Sam Laporta. I, I, I really, really want to know where you guys are at emotionally with your team. Are you an all 10? 
or are you a little skeptical? Like, comment, and subscribe.